Hello guys, so as promised, here's my how to travel on a budget video. Um, I didn't make it to my 50 subscribers, people, but that's okay. So here's the video. You have your destination, somewhere out of the country. First things first, how do you get there? We need to find our flight. You have your destination, now let's get you there. My favorite website so far is this website called Fair Compare. Um, it's fairly like underrated, like undercover, not many people know about it, like it's top secret, right? So you have Fair Compare, you also have One Travel. Uh, OneTravel.com is a, another website that has great deals on flights, like better than if you were to actually go to, let's say, United Airlines website themselves. Um, OneTravel.com will have that same flight, but discounted like $200, $50, like $100, still a discount way better than the original price so that's good for you now we have our flight booked to where we want to go what's next we need someone to sleep where are we going to sleep i'm not going to stay in a hotel because one hotels are too expensive i don't have time to be paying uh 200 a night 100 a night hell not even 60 dollars a night it's too expensive two I want to talk to people. Hotels, you're all alone and you're lonely and you're sad and no one wants to see you. It's just too much. So what you do is you sleep in a hostel. So you go to hostelworld.com. You type in your city, your little destination, where you're going. Type it in. And all of these cool hostels come up. You can type it in from closest to like what a city you want to do, closest like to your budget. Let's say you're like really broke. There's this other thing called couchsurf.com. What it is is um, a website where people pretty much lend their couches to strangers, i.e. you or me or some like French kid. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, they you sign up, you create a profile. I'm an American from Chicago. I'm awesome and I'm looking to go to Mexico and I don't have much money and I want to sleep on someone's couch. So you also have your Facebook friends. I had an experience once where a friend was like stuck in a country, they didn't have any place to stay and they didn't have any money, nothing. And they made a post on Facebook like, Oh my God, I'm stuck here. Does anyone have family? Does anyone know anything? Know anybody? Please help me. Please help me. And I kid you not, he was able, somebody was able to get him in touch with family or like friends they had in that country where he was. And he was able to sleep at their place for four days, you know, like that's amazing. You know, just pretty much you, if you need help, put it out there. People are willing to help. You have hostelworld.com, couchsurf.com. And Facebook. Utilize all three guys. Uh, either way, they're all inexpensive and word of mouth, things like that. Social media, awesome. We have our flight. We know where we're sleeping. What's next? First, let me tell you, for transportation, you're going to use what I like to call your legs. Yes. God gave you legs to walk, that's what you're going to use. I kid you not, I can't tell you how many hours and miles I have walked in some country. It's like, geez, this would be a sin to walk that much. If they have like weekend passes for the train, which is what I always do, I always buy um, day pass or weekend pass for the train, uh, for the train, bus, or whatever, which usually may cost like around, in Tokyo it costs like I believe $7 a day or something like that. Um, if you like to bike, you can rent a bike. If the bike is like $20 to rent for two days or something, you can rent the bike. But majority of the time I will walk um, or take the train. I, I will rarely take a taxi because they're too expensive and you don't really get to view the city. You also need to make the decision of what's important to you. Do you like museums or do you like to eat? Museums, eat. I am good on some bread, some rice, and some water. I would eat that for the whole 10 days I'm there. And that would cost me $5. I'm more interested in the museums and the exhibits and checking out all this good, crazy stuff. I mean, think about the logic here. You go to a really nice, fancy restaurant, what, $25 for a plate, museum, 
20 25 dollars go to a museum eat so you have your flight information you either booked it through faircompare.com onetravel.com or you probably found some really sweet deal on groupon which is also amazing now that you find your flight for your destination you either found your sleeping arrangement from hostelworld.com Couchsurf.com or via Facebook, Twitter, and things like that. Um, you found where you want to stay, and now you did transportation. You decided you were going to walk everywhere or um, take the train, buy a train pass, avoid taxis at all costs, things like that. And for food, buy the cheapest thing there. The cheapest thing. When I was in Tokyo, the cheapest thing there were these little rice bags, which were 100 yen. Okay? That's like dollar and 20 cents or something i ate those bitches all day all day every day that's all i ate <laughs> here are a few tips uh we all need tips when we travel so here are a few tips you need to make sure you call your bank and your telephone company your cell phone company because you do not want to get all these unexpected fees when you get back you're like holy crap why do I owe T-Mobile $500? That'll get your ass, let me tell you. They get a lot of people. And your card, every time you use it out of the country, of course they're going to charge you, charge you, charge you. Usually, I do a big withdrawal from the ATM. I'll take out a bunch of money. People say exchange it at the airport. I think the exchange rates are too expensive. People say change it at your bank. I've never done that, so you can go see what are the exchange rates at your bank. Tip number two. Never have all of your money and like IDs and identification on you at all. Never do that. Um, at hostels, you usually have like little cabinets where you carry your own lock and you can lock your things in there. Keep your passport in a safe place with a lock um, as well as half of your money. So when you leave out to go explore, do all that, make sure you leave with, you know, at least an ID. But not all of your money because you don't know what can happen someone can steal it you can lose it you can misplace it you just never know so tip number two never leave out with all your money or identification because you need to get home if all fails if you don't have money at least you have your passport and you can get home because you booked a round trip flight of course i hope this video was helpful um i'm gonna leave all of the links and cool stuff below and hopefully that helps because I don't know. I mean, it always helps me. So, bye! <laughs> I feel like Dora should have made this video or something. Like, really, she should have made this video because she goes everywhere. Who the hell is her travel agent? And how does she fit all that stuff in that backpack? Hmm. Her and boots, they really be traveling on a budget. Mm -hmm.